Oh, Luke Campbell talking about being a Democratic Party and wants the brothers to come on board. Am I right? <laughs> oh, Luke, I go back to 1990 with you. I go back to Live Crew. I remember all that. I remember when you took a stand. They were locking you up because your ruckus were considered obscene. The, the stickers and everything and, and all the stuff that happened with you and the two Live Crew and Originally, you were Luke Skywalker, and you lost the rights to that name and everything, and you had to fight the government. You really was getting arrested in ruckus stores and all the craziness that happened. Yes, you put Miami-based booty machine music on the map, but you paid a price. Trick Daddy and all of them on your debt, but you paid a price. Luke Campbell, you're just as important to the Miami music scene as Casey and the Sunshine Band and Gloria Stefan, the Miami Sound Machine. Y'all have a place on that Mount Rushmore, but at the same time, yours took a hit. And then, for all the freaky tales and all the stuff you've done, you done somehow become a politician. You done somehow trying to say, come on to this Democratic thing, come on. And you want to be considered deep and profound. You're kind of like, I'll say this. You're a precursor to Snoop, but you're what we call the junior whopper Snoop. You're the uncle Snoop that Snoop lived out everything that they didn't quite give you the light. You ever notice that somebody that came before somebody, but someone that comes after gets all the hype of what that person was, his nephew. And that's kind of how I look at Snoop and Luke. Because Luke, if you think about it, could have very well been one of the faces of hip hop. And he wasn't. And he took on everything. Now, let's just address this real quick. Another one. Just like I did with Magic Johnson. Talk about reparations, brother. Stop all this. Well, you should be a Democrat. Or you should be, be Republican. No. No. Those parties don't belong to us. Never have, never will. We're the ball that has the racket that hits us between both sides. But we get caught up in the net for which side. You see. And I'm going to quote Tavis Smiley again, what he said on Vlad, because I'm going to use the Tavis Smiley quote. We've always been the ones to the rescue to save, Captain Save the Day, but never been the focal point of making the day right from the giddy up. Always trying to put the face on for everybody else. Luke Campbell, you're in a position where you are on independent artistry. Why are you going to succumb to political parties that are one in the same with everything you went through? I don't understand the logic, especially if you know his history of what he dealt with American politics as an artist and freedom of accept speech and exception. But then again, he might say Democrat, but his background ain't that far removed from Clarence Thomas and Long Dong Silver. But anyway, just going to say that you know, it's interesting how people want to get political sides about this or that, but never want to talk about the big picture with black folks concerned. When I say reparations, when I say a betterness of against police brutality, and in the state that he's from of Florida with the Santas and Trump and all them there, you need to be talking like Marcus Garvey, yo. They might get some points. You might not get what you want in terms of a whole, but to side up with a party that is just in a party that ain't doing nothing, ain't hitting on Jack. But that's what happens. You succumb to this and this is what has come to that. And if you like, you ain't down and you, and there is nothing to be down with. You need to get to the party of reparations. That's the party you need to get to. That other mess, all that is, is just a lot of TV rest and talk about what you're going to do. So your key sweating it. You ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to do nothing. Unless you actually stand for something. So that's all I got to say about Luke Campbell and all this come to Democrat and all that. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shitter if you like. And please hit that membership because when you do, the video is your request. I get them back to you. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay focused. Stay true. Stay you. Stay white, stay bright, stay healthy. I'm out. One time, peace.